Will you use smart rings on your wedding day? Find out. Hi. I'm here today to bring you the latest fashion tech news that you need to know. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this new every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, the wedding tech is now at the heart of couples nuptials. Instead of traditional gold bands, a Czech couple exchanged smart rings on their wedding day. Smart rings are wearable electronic devices with functions similar to smart watches. They typically allow the user to monitor his or her heartbeat, and make a contactless payment. It's a fast-growing tech sector, reported to be seeing global sales rise by 21% a year. These smart rings are, however, designed to be more romantic than most they allow them to see and feel each other's heartbeat. Each ring is connected by Bluetooth to an app on the wearer's smartphone. And via the app, two rings can be linked together. News Source, BBC Another piece of news is that wearable patches can painlessly deliver drugs through the skin. The skin is an appealing route for drug delivery because it allows drugs to go directly to the site where they're needed, which could be useful for wound healing, pain relief, or other medical and cosmetic applications. MIT researchers have developed a wearable patch that applies painless ultrasonic waves to the skin, creating tiny channels that drugs can pass through. This approach could lend itself to the delivery of treatments for various skin conditions and could also be adapted to deliver hormones, muscle relaxants, and other drugs. News Source, MIT, News Next Up, Snapchat's AI bot is rolling out to everyone. Here's how it works. Generative AI is everywhere now, and Snap, the parent company of the social media network Snapchat is the latest to fold it into its ecosystem plans. The company's chat GPT-based AI tool, called My AI which aims to be a conversational companion that can recommend Snapchat augmented reality lenses and respond to a picture you send to it with an AI-generated picture response could also end up being the glue in the company's ever-expanding ambitions in R. News Source, CNET, Another News. Farfetch is making a case for luxury virtual try-on. Virtual try-on is becoming a key proposition for luxury retailers. Global online fashion marketplace Farfetch recently tested how a virtual try-on offering would improve conversion and engagement. It now offers virtual try-on for luxury watches, shoes, jewelry, and makeup with plans to bring the technology to its bags and ready to wear in the future. News source, Glossy, another news. Katmai raises $22 million to revolutionize remote work with realistic virtual office platform. Their product merges the benefits of a shared in-office experience with the convenience of working remotely, paving the way for a work paradigm that is truly inclusive. The 3D virtual office boasts a blend of private and co-working spaces, spatial audio, spontaneous interactions, and personalized environments that vividly represent your brand and products in the virtual realm. Katmai's platform brings people together inside an easy-to-navigate photorealistic 3D environment, enabling natural communication, spontaneous interactions and a sense of place that's been missing from the digital world. News Source, Blockster, and that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360fashion.net slash podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode.